Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie and I have a really fun St. Patrick's Day tear tray DIYs for you today. My theme today is gnomes. So I'm going very heavy with St. Patrick's Day and very heavy with gnomes for fun. So the first thing we're going to use is some of this wired ribbon from the Dollar Tree with little shamrocks all over it. What I did was just glue it to itself by cutting off the right size and wrapping it around both tiers of my tear tray. We're going all out with this one and we're gonna start with our first gnome check out these giant gnomes they have at the dollar tree they are so big i used one on my st patrick's day coffee bar and i just loved it so i had to get some with the little orange beards too to kind of make them look like leprechauns so i like him he's wearing like a green outfit he has this little orange beard and then he has like a green and black plaid little gnome hat I thought I would add just maybe a few details to him just to kind of give him a little bit more charm. I don't really like that seam around his hat. So I was thinking if I could use like this black leather purse from the Dollar Tree, um, I could like make like a little leprechaun hat strap. I thought that would make him kind of look a little bit more like a leprechaun. So I was going to use the strap inside, but I thought it was a little too skinny. So I'm just going to cut the purse out and cut the strap size that I want. And then I was trying to decide if I should use like the bumpy leather side or if I should use uh, like the sleek like suede like inside. I really like that. So I actually ended up liking that one better. So I'm actually going to do it like the leather side down but it took me a while to determine this. <laughs> now it's kind of an odd shape. I can't just wrap one strap all the way around just cause I want it to fit closely with his little gnome hat. So I'm just gonna cut it at an angle right there and then glue it to the front of his little gnome hat first. It's gonna cover up that little white seam and it's just gonna add another little detail. I really like homemade looking gnomes and so kind of trying to make him look a little bit more homemade. So I'm going to cut it at an angle here on the other side and finish gluing that around. So it's kind of one piece with a little gnome hat, kind of a little bit over his nose. And then I kind of want that strap to go all the way around because it is a tear tray. You are going to be able to see the back of him. And even though his hat's different in the back, it's just plain green. I thought I would just go ahead and do a strap for the back too, just to kind of make it look like it goes all the way around his hat. I just want to do like the traditional like, um, strap around the hat with like the little buckle for a leprechaun since he kind of looks like a leprechaun anyway with that bright orange beard. So I just cut that one down to size and hot glue that to the hat as well. Just forming two seams on the side. Now I need to make the buckle and I thought like some of this felt from the Dollar Tree would probably be the easiest option and they actually had this like orangey color but it you know, it almost looks like gold and I thought that would be cute for like a gold buckle and it'd be really easy to do. So I'm just gonna cut out a little piece of that Dollar Tree felt and try to see about how big it needs to be. And then once I get the rectangle cut down to size, I'm just gonna fold it in half. That way I can cut out like the rectangle in the middle um, to do a really simple little buckle for him. So just folding it in half then cutting a little rectangle out of the middle. And I was going back and forth what to make this buckle out of, and I'm glad I decided with felt because it's easy, it's no fray, and it's gonna go great with all the other like fabric touches on this little St. Patrick's Day gnome. We're gonna do a lot of gnomes today. I know I have a lot of gnome fans out there, Crafty Beach Bums, and I am not gonna disappoint today. We're gonna do a lot of gnomes. Now to glue it down, I'm just using some tacky glue from the Dollar Tree. Um, just because I didn't really think it required hot glue, I thought that would be plenty to hold it on there and it worked really well. Now, once I get him all on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and give his little beard another little comb and a little trim because it's a little shaggy, but super cute. And I think he's looking really cute. What do you guys think? I was trying to decide if he needed any more details, 
but I kind of like him just the way he is. So we're gonna stand him up on the top of the tear tray where there's plenty of room for a big gnome like him. So I decided I kind of wanted to do all tall stuff on the top since he's really tall. So I thought I would do a, a flower arrangement, but I'm gonna use one of those tall vases from the Dollar Tree. Now I thought I could use some of these little St. Patrick's Day socks to make a sleeve for my vase. I've never done this before, but in theory, I think it should work. And I found these cute little socks at the Dollar Tree, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the heel and the ankle off trying to get my line as straight as possible. It's got three little different gnomes on there and they're wearing like the same hat as the gnome that we just DIY'd, which is really cute. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing by cutting the toes off. And it's gonna, you know, give me just like a little sleeve. I thought that'd be a really easy way to decorate this face from the Dollar Tree. And it actually worked out really well. I was quite impressed. So I'm just gonna slide it on, kind of like a little cozy, right? Now I didn't really like um, the exposed edges. You know, I cut pretty good, but I thought it looked a little rag raggly. So I thought I would try to line that with something to kind of make it look, you know, just a little bit cleaner. So I kind of trimmed it down to size. And then I was trying to think what I could use. You could use ribbon or whatnot, but I had that black leather purse that we just used for the gnome DIY. And it has this great like black leather strap on it. I thought that would be the perfect touch. It's gonna um, go with that little black strap that we just added to our gnome. I'm gonna use it like the suede side up again. I really like that better than the bumpy leather. Um, so I'm just gonna glue this down and just kind of make a seam all the way around. What I wanna put in there is those little shamrocks from the Dollar Tree that you see off the, to the left there. Um, and I think they're gonna fit in there really nicely. I just wanted to do a really cute St. Patrick's Day like gnome theme vase. And so I just cut that down to size and hot glue that to itself. Try not to make too much of a mess there with a the hot glue. But if you do, if you use your heat gun, it's gonna save the day. <laughs> My heat gun, I got this heat gun two years ago when I started this channel and it's been through some stuff, but it still works great. It doesn't look great, but I have that available in my Amazon shop. It was only like $10. Fantastic investment. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing at the top to seal that in. It just gives it a cleaner appearance, but I was a big fan of the sock trick. It definitely worked like I thought it would. So I cut that little purse strap down to size two and we have our little vase. Now I didn't really like the fact that it was kind of clear on the bottom. You could kind of see through it and I was trying to think of a way that I can make it green and I thought I have some green sand from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna pour that in there. If you don't have this, you're probably not gonna notice, but I had it, so I decided to pour just a little bit in the bottom of the vase. Just gonna give me something to stick the little shamrocks down into, and it's gonna add another little green touch. We are going green St. Patrick's Day proud. You know, um, I just had a St. Patrick's Day tear tray DIY video come out the other day. My theme was rainbows, and um, totally going a different direction with this one. So there it is, just enough sand to get past um, the sock. I don't wanna waste all my green sand. And I think that looks pretty cute. So it's time to add our shamrocks. They almost fit in there just perfectly, but I wanted them to be a tiny bit shorter. Just trying to try them out for size. I um, actually am just going to cut through there. I don't actually need to cut it all the way off as long as I bend it gonna be fine and just stick that down into the green sand and we have a really nice tall St. Patrick's Day DIY that we can sit on the tear tray next to that gnome and it coordinates with it so well with the little gnome wearing the same hat he's holding like um, shamrocks um, horseshoes super cute so I'm gonna kind of put him over on the side. We're gonna do like four big pieces, I think on the top is gonna to fit really well. Now this is the Mrs. We had to have a girl gnome too, right? So I got this one at Dollar Tree too, super large, loving her little orange braids. The only thing I'm not digging about this is her hat. Um, it's like 
really dark green, almost black like sequins. And I didn't really think that was gonna go with my vibe. So I decided I could replace her hat with some of these Dollar Tree socks. These are like the really fuzzy ones. They're white with green shamrocks and I thought that would match her little outfit well. And it's gonna kind of make her look a little bit more like a, a, a handmade like sock gnome. I love, I love making sock gnomes, they're so fun. And she kind of looks like she's homemade after all of these touches. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off the heel, just kind of like we did to make the sleeve out of the sock. And we are gonna wrap this little sock around her hat, just leaving everything on there as is. That way I'll have the nice shape for the gnome hat and I don't really have to worry about taking all of that stuff off. Now I did want to twist it so like um, the seam for the toes like is going one direction just to kind of line it up and pull it all the way down to her nose. Now I'm just gonna start hot gluing that to her existing hat, being careful, trying not to burn myself. I think I totally burnt myself on this one. There's always gotta be that project that gets you. <laughs> but getting it as close as I can to the um, bottom of it, um, I will go ahead and do something to seal that like raw edge from the sock, but I'm just trying to get it down as close as I can to the bottom of it um, and just hot gluing that all the way around. Fit on there quite nicely. Now, right now it kind of looks like a sock. It doesn't really look like a gnome hat, but we will shape that up into a gnome hat. And so this is the ankle part of that sock that we cut off. And I'm just gonna cut off the little elastic band that would go around your ankle, mostly green. I did leave a little bit of white on there just to make it a little bit longer so to cover up um, our exposed edges there. And just cutting a loose string and we have a great little brim for her little hat that's gonna seal that in nicely. I've done that before when I've made sock gnomes and it's always worked well. And pull that down and see how that covers that little area perfectly. Kind of goes over her little plush nose a little bit and her little orange braids. I kind of wish that other gnome had like the orange yarn for his beard because the orange yarn on her braids are adorable. Now I'm just going to do hot glue down to seal that into place. Um, to glue that down, I don't want that going anywhere and I want it to stay exactly where I want it, covering up all the stuff there that I don't want you to see. <laughs> Trying not to burn myself. Good job, Julie. Use tools, use tools, not your fingers. And then gluing that all the way down. Now, once we have that part of the gnome taken care of, we can start worrying about the shape. It ha pretty much has the right shape, but the end of it's just a little too big there. So I'm gonna take some twine, gonna bunch it together at the end, and then I'm just gonna tie that twine off to give me a point to the end of my gnome hat. A lot of times I like to use pom-poms and stuff on the end, but I didn't really wanna do a pom-pom on hers because the other gnome didn't really have that. And so I'm kinda just gonna kinda do the same kind of hat. So I cut off my excess twine after I cut it off and then I'm gonna cut off just the toe of the sock and I'm gonna cut that down just as close as I can get to kind of form just a perfect little tip. Of course, you can still kind of see, um, you know, where I tied it off and a little bit of exposed cutting there, but I am gonna patch that. I still have that toe of the sock that we cut off. So I have some green fabric. So I just cut off some of it, glued it on the end and wrapped that around. That's gonna cover up the twine, kind of give it more of a finished little point here at the end. Just wrapping that all the way around and hot gluing that to itself. She was a really fun gnome to DIY and add some touches to. I think she turned out really cute. So we got that going good, just trying to make it look as much as I can, like a pointy little gnome hat. And I'm loving that hat. I think it's way cuter than the one that they had on there. Now I thought her outfit like maybe needed something. So I was trying to go through my St. Patrick's Day stash to see what I have. And I had some of these craft kits that had like leprechauns, rainbows and such like that in there. And I thought maybe I could find something cool in here 
because they're like little felt pieces that we could decorate with. And I did, I found the perfect thing to kind of decorate her outfit and make her look super cute. Inside the rainbow one, there's these little tiny green shamrocks that are just the right size to decorate her buttons. They are like green glitter on one side and like green on the other. So I'm gonna take two of those and I'm just gonna simply hot glue those to the button she already has on there. It's gonna give her another little St. Patrick's Day DIY and I think it turned out really cute. A lot cuter than just the green buttons, I think. Cause it's a girl now. We had to give her a pretty little outfit, you know? Now I was trying to decide if she needed any other details. I wanted some ribbon or something to like trim out her sleeves, but I didn't really have anything that was like small enough or quite the, si quite the right size. So I do have an extra like St. Patrick's Day tassel from some of the wood bead um, garland that we used on my St. Patrick's Day coffee bar. And it's green and white, it's just the right size. And so I'm just gonna carefully pull that out of the tassel without trying to destroy the tassel. We can save that tassel for another project, but look, it's like a little white um, skinny ribbon with green dots on it. I think it's gonna be the perfect little touch to like kind of dress up her sleeve a little bit. So I'm just gonna cut that down to size. There's plenty for both sleeves. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut two. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that around the bottom of her sleeve just to kind of make her outfit look a little bit fancy because again, we're doing the girl one. And you don't always find a girl gnome. I was really happy to find her. I think she's so pretty and I love her little orange hair. <laughs> okay, we got that side glued down. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here on the other side. And I think she's gonna be ready to go. I'm gonna put her on the top tier on the opposite side of our other gnome. I'm gonna be using this tier tray on my kitchen table. So you're gonna be able to see it from all four directions. So I want every area of the tier tray to be really decorated cute. So since she's the same size, she's gonna look great behind that large gnome and they're gonna balance each other out really well. I thought about doing something different with her braids, but the little green bows on there were super cute. So I thought I would leave them as is. And I think she's ready to go. What do you guys think about her? She might need a name. She's pretty cute. And she's ready to go in here on the tear tray. We're gonna put her back to back with the little guy gnome. I love her little braids, so I'm gonna kinda let them like drape over the sides since she's such a large little gnome. Now for the other side, instead of doing uh, the flower vase, I thought we could use one of these tall candles from the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a green one and these adorable little gnome window decals from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just peeling off that plastic that's on there. And it does leave behind like a stickiness on there. And so I thought I would use some Goo Gone to try to get that off. Now, sometimes these candles don't look great. As you can see, it's a little like blotchy, but I think it's gonna be okay. You're definitely um, gonna have trouble if you're gonna try to find one that looks perfect. I wonder if you did a quick melt on one, um, like by putting it in boiling water, if you can make them look a little bit better. I've never tried, I have melted these though before to make my own like DIY candles. And um, so that might work actually. We're gonna kinda go with it. It's a little mottled, but as long as I get all that adhesive off there, I think we can make it work. One side kind of look good. So I'm gonna pick out a couple little gnomes to decorate this with. We have this little gnome that's holding like a little shamrock. It's a different color of green, so I thought that'd be a nice contrast. And since it's glass and it's a window decal, all you gotta do is stick it on there. Super easy. And then we, if you wanna change this candle out for a different season like Christmas, all you gotta do is take the window decal off. Could not be any easier. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do one on the back. And then I thought, yes, I do want to because you're gonna be able to see it from the front and the back. And so there was actually a little girl gnome on there that kind of coordinates with the one that we made. And so I thought we'd put her on the other side and it's gonna cover up a lot of that mottledness on the, the little candle as well. And she's holding a little horseshoe for luck. And I'm just gonna 
That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add that to the top. It's gonna be about the same size as the vase on the other side. And then I thought I would do like the boy one next to the girl, the girl one next to the boy, just to mix it up a little bit. And it's the perfect size right there. Now I wanted to do one more small touch on the top and I got one of these little, what are they called? It's just decor, like a charm. It's a little glitter shamrock from the Dollar Tree with some white and green wood beads. Just gonna leave it totally as is and just kind of kind of string that at the top. It's gonna give you that wood bead garland feel kind of in a small space. Hey guys, we're halfway done with this tear trade video, but I wanted to take a moment to tell you about my private Facebook group. I always have it linked below as well as my Facebook page. I post a lot of content there. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest, and my handle is Crafty Beach on YouTube on all of them, and I'd love to see you there. Okay, let's get started on the bottom of this tear tray. I'm gonna use one of these new little wood signs from the Dollar Tree. I love these. They come in like all different finishes, like white, tan, black. I guess this really isn't tan. It's more of like a medium wood. And then another one of those craft kits from the Dollar Tree. This one had the perfect thing inside of it. It has a little leprechaun gnome. Super cute, and so that's all we're gonna use to build this DIY sign. It's gonna be so easy. That's the little beard piece with the little hands and feet. It comes with a little leprechaun hat, um, strap, a nose for the gnome, and a shamrock. So couldn't be any easier. We were just going to hot glue this on. My battery was not working on my hot glue gun there, so I had to switch it out real quick. And see how the hat kind of covers up like the writing that's on there. So this size, this size sign is going to be the perfect size for this. Trying not to use too much hot glue because I really don't need to. Just lining up the sides of the hat for a little leprechaun hat. And these are so easy and they're a great way to decorate when like a holiday like St. Patrick's Day where Dollar Tree really doesn't have a lot of craft materials available. You kind of have to get creative with what they have but I was really impressed with these craft kits. They're really cute. So we glue down the little strap to his hat and gluing on the little gnome nose, his little orange nose. And then he can hold this little glitter shamrock in his hands. Couldn't be any easier. And we have a little leprechaun gnome sign for the bottom of the tear tray. This size, like, sitting on its side like that is the perfect size for the bottom of my wood tier tray. And so let's go ahead and start on the bottom of it. We can place it right here. It's nice and tall. So I'm going to kind of put that more towards the back and we can put some shorter things in front of it. Super cute. I was going to add a word, but I didn't think you'd really be able to see it. Now the next find is from the Dollar Tree. It's this really pretty, glitter shamrock. I think it's just the right size for a tear tray. And it's oh so pretty. Like it's kind of like a wood, heavy wood. And it's kind of sits just on its, um, by itself. And it's got green glitter all over. And it's kind of a different shade of green. Kind of matches that lighter green color of the shamrocks and the ribbon. So we're just going to put that right in front. Okay, I promised you guys a lot of gnomes, so we're gonna do that. They had these cute little ornaments at the Dollar Tree with a green glitter gnome hat with a little orange leprechaun beard. Perfect for our theme. All I had to do was cut the ribbon off the top. I don't have to do anything to them. They don't stand by themselves too well, but if I lean these up against like signs and such in the bottom, they'll stand up perfectly. So we'll go ahead and use one now and just kind of lean it up against that little glitter shamrock. He's so cute, perfect size for the bottom. Now the next items I found at the Target Dollar Spot for $3. So they're only a dollar a piece, so even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and use all of them for this DIY because I think they're perfect. So one like, says luck, one says shamrocks and shenanigans, and one is actually a little gnome leprechaun. Actually, I guess this one's not a leprechaun. It's just a St. Patrick's Day gnome. He's got the white beard. But I thought they were going to be perfect. What do you guys think? So let's go ahead and use our little gnome first. Kind of sit him in front of our sign. He's so cute. Don't have to do anything to him. He's perfect. 
Now the next find is from the Dollar Tree as well as almost everything's from the Dollar Tree, I think, except for those little signs. So super cute, lots of glitter, green. It says Luck of the Irish. It's made out of like a big rock. So perfect for a tear tray, I thought. And I'm gonna sit that right over here to the side. Now, this item was from the Dollar Tree as well. It's a little um, leprechaun hat. It spells out luck, but I thought it was kind of hard to read. So I thought maybe we could do our own thing with this. I like the little glitter leprechaun hat. So I'm just gonna take off all of the luck letters and the little stems. And I thought maybe we could do our own thing with this. It is the really good size for a tear tray. So I pull all that stuff out. I'm gonna touch up the styrofoam a little bit um, with some green paint so it's not so obvious. Just touching it up a little bit. It's still gonna have some holes in there, but that's okay. I'm gonna kind of use it like it was used before as kind of a base, but I thought we could switch it up and use some of these little shamrock picks from the Dollar Tree. They're like green glitter, so it's gonna match like the little hat perfectly. You don't have to worry about spelling out like a whole word and it's not gonna be lined up right. So I'm just gonna use like three of those. Just breaking the little picks off to size. They're super easy to break. And just kind of scattering those in there. Now I get the three in there and I, you can kind of still see that there are some holes in the top. There were a couple little details that came with the luck, these little pipe cleaners, like one was white and one was green. So I'm just gonna kind of put those in the exposed holes. And that's all there is to it. Super easy little DIY. I think it looks cuter than when it said luck. I just thought it was a little busy. I didn't think you could really read it very much. So this one's ready to go. We're gonna put it right over here. And with those picks installed, it's just the right size down here. And I'm, I'm digging all the glitter. Normally I don't dig the glitter, but for St. Patrick's Day, we're gonna look the other way. <laughs> now I found more gnomes. These are also ornaments from the Dollar Tree. These are a little different. Green shamrock hat with a little um, strap and buckle, kind of like what we did on the gnome at the top. It's a little higher, but that's okay. Now I was checking these out. They look pretty good. I cut the straps off, but one of the gnome noses was like way down there. And I was like, wait a minute. It's supposed to be like touching its hat. So I'm just gonna fix that really quick. Easy enough, just apply a little heat, just enough to melt the glue they used and I'll just move it up. You don't wanna use too much heat when you're dealing with that Dollar Tree fabric though, cause it definitely melts. But these have little orange beards. They're super cute as well. And I thought these would be great to put around the bottom of the tear tray as well. So he's looking way better, I think, with his nose in the right spot. Just making sure that I cleaned up any glue. And we have two more gnomes. We're gonna go ahead and use one right now. Kind of lean him up against that little leprechaun hat because it doesn't stand too well. And then another one of those signs from the Target Dollar Spot. This time we're gonna use the little luck sign. The green, the white, and the black really goes well with my DIYs. And so I think I'm gonna kinda just sit that one right there. And a pre-made sign, you can't get any easier than that. We're gonna put the other little gnome ornament kind of leaning up against him. That's the one with the little sparkle hat. Now this is from the Dollar Tree as well. It was called an ornament too, but it's kinda big for an ornament. I guess if you were gonna do a big St. Patrick's Day tree, but basically I just cut the little ornament string off the top. I'm trying to repair any damage by kind of pushing the excess string down inside the little leprechaun hat. But this is really cute, really lots of glitter, lots of different shades of green. And it doesn't stand up too well either, but it's a very lightweight foam. And so we're just gonna kind of lean that up against the pole, the post there in the back of my tear tray. And then that other sign, the Shamrocks and Shenanigans sign from the Target Dollar Spot. I told you we were gonna use all three and this one's gonna go perfectly right here. And I love that saying, I have that on some Target Dollar Spot uh, mug that I used on my St. Patrick's Day coffee bar. And finally, our other little gnomes. We have four of those little gnomes there at the bottom. They fit perfectly. I always love would-be garland. I was so excited that Dollar Tree really has really started just doing these for us. It's got a little leprechaun hat that says Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's beautiful, the colors are perfect. I don't have to do anything to it. All I gotta do is put it on my tray. So 
Thank you, Dollar Tree. We used to have to like paint these on skewers. Look at all the work they're saving me. So I'm just gonna do this one on the bottom since we already got some wood beads on the top and just kind of string that along. And then for a little filler, I don't have a lot of areas I need filler, but I have a couple of these little gold coins left from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna kind of scatter those around just like wherever I have any areas that don't really have anything. I think this tear tray is really fun for St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, it really helps the algorithm. Comment your favorite DIY or find below, and don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up I won't slow down Thank you to my financial supporters. These crafty beach bums have sent me super thanks, super chats, bought me a coffee, even sent me a cash app. I appreciate you guys so much who help keep this channel going. And I have just opened up memberships. If you would like to support the crafty beach channel, it's $4.99 a month. You can cancel anytime. It's a great way to support your favorite creator. And the best perk is that you're going to get early access to my new videos. So, you might want to check that out. I'd really appreciate it. And if you would like more Crafty Beach, you can check out this video right here.